Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. My name is Richard Evans. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And today I want to show you how to use the eight additional NDI outputs on the TriCaster 2 Elite. Now, the TriCaster 2 Elite does come with eight hardware video outputs, but it also comes with an additional eight NDI video outputs, which you can then view on any NDI-enabled device using, for example, a studio monitor. Uh, so that gives you a grand total of 16 different ways to send video out of the TriCaster 2 Elite to mix and match how you want. So let's get down to business. All right, so here we are in the TriCaster 2 Elite interface. And just to kind of give you a lay of the land of what I'm showing for my example here is I have my input number two currently on my program output along with a downstream keyer that's uh, turned on to just indicate that I'm using uh, this particular source as a program output. Okay, so on the TriCaster 2 Elite, again, like I was mentioning, is you have your eight individual uh, mixes that you can send out of the TriCaster via your SDI outputs or NDI and we can configure those by clicking on this output wheel and that will open up the output configuration. So uh, here are my mixes one through eight and I currently have mix number one set up to be my program video feed and mix number two is set up to be my program clean feed and program clean means it will be the same program video but it will uh, subtract any downstream keyer um, uh, output that I have uh, selected. Okay, so now I'm gonna move over to a desktop where I have four different versions of NDI Studio Monitor uh, open right now. And NDI Studio Monitor is an application that will let you monitor different NDI signals coming out of your TriCaster. Uh, so let's go ahead and I'm gonna go to my first NDI Studio Monitor and let's go ahead and open up my TriCaster 2. Now, uh, what's awesome about the TriCaster 2 is it can send out via NDI individual feeds, like your different buffers here, or your hardware inputs, uh, or your DDRs, and then also your mixes here. So I'm gonna select mix number one, which again I have assigned to my program output, which we can tell by my downstream keyer appearing right here. All right, and let me go over to my second version, uh, uh, iteration of NDI Studio Monitor, and let's select mix number two, which again I have selected as my program clean feed. So that means it won't have that downstream keyer uh, program output uh, lower third set up there. Okay, so that's kind of the basic way of getting different outputs coming out of the TriCaster 2 Elite. But what this video is about is to show you that you have additional NDI outputs available to you. And on the interface, you can access those by going right below your program window here. And then you see that I have a tab for outputs one through four. Let's go ahead and expand that and check it out. Now we have uh, basically another video switcher here uh, available to me. And with the different inputs that you'll see here, let me just kind of give you what those look like is uh, my output number one. We have um, mixes one through four here, along with the inputs from one through 16 and the individual DDRs. But again, the TriCaster 2 Elite has tons of different things that we can send out. So uh, to access those, we will just go and click on number two under the bank side of things here on, uh, on my program uh, row here. And that will also expand the different uh, uh, outputs that I can send out of this system here. So I also have my mixes five through eight, uh, along with additional inputs 17 through 32 and DDRs. And if I go to bank number three, we have all of the buffers and inputs 25 through 32, and then just a black output. So that's how you would be able to access your different feeds here. So, uh, so what I'm gonna do now on my uh, output number one, I currently have that selected as my uh, mix number one, which again is my program output. And then my output number two, I'm gonna select that to follow my mix number two, which will be my uh, program clean feed. And then these outputs three and four, let's go ahead and set those to something different. Uh, I'm gonna select my inputs three and four here. All right, so, uh, and what's nice about this, you also have little preview windows over here on the right, which will show you exactly what you are sending out via NDI. So it takes the guesswork out of doing that. All right, so now let's go over to my desktop and let's start to configure these a little bit differently. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and clear all of these out. Let's go ahead and select none on those. Okay, 
And on NDI Studio Monitor, instead of selecting the TriCaster 2's mixes, I'm now just going to select out one. So these aren't being sent out via hardware, these are just being sent out exclusively over NDI. So output number one, again, that is assigned to my program feed. So there we go. And let's go to my second NDI Studio Monitor. And we'll select output number two, which again is my program clean feed. And now let's go to NDI Studio Monitor number three here and select output number three, all right, which is our guest on her set. And then output number four. Cool. So now you can see kind of how we're routing this a little bit. So this is a great way to be able to send out additional feeds to say a, a laptop for a, some, like a confidence monitor, for example, and be able to switch these around. And it, it's going to be independent of whatever your, uh, your TriCaster outputs are. But again, you can have them assigned to the same mixes. So for example, if I go back over to my TriCaster, and switch my program row over to say input number seven here. And then we take a look back over on the desktop. Now I have my uh, outputs number one and two, since again, those are assigned to mixes number one and two are basically following that video source. So you can either have them follow mixes or individual inputs uh, or media players or buffers coming out of that, greatly expanding the amount of output capabilities of your TriCaster 2 Elite, which is pretty dang cool. So eight hardware outputs and eight NDI outputs coming from the new TriCaster 2 Elite. Some pretty cool stuff. Now, if you like this video, please click the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash newtechinc so you can be notified whenever we post a cool tutorial video like this one to help expand your new tech knowledge. Now, for additional information on new tech products and services, talk to your local reseller or you can visit our website at newtech.com. Also, be sure to check out newtech.tv where I discuss the latest product updates along with interviews from new tech users and third party developers, giving you a peek into how others are creating their very own shows using new tech products. I want to thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time right here on New Tech Tuesday Tutorials.